Hello and welcome, it's Bill Skolodowski and it's time for another exciting edition of iPhone Friday. I know you've been waiting for it all week, so have I. Uh, if you have uh, just joined us lately, well, here at the blog, BillSkolodowski.com, and through these videos, whether you're watching them on Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn or wherever, we provide tips, tricks, and resources to make your high-tech life easier. And every Friday, iPhone Friday, we give you a little something to help make using your iPhone all that much easier. So let's dig in. Oh, by the way, if you uh, missed the last couple, we're also doing a What's New Wednesday series of videos where we've been talking about all the good stuff that uh, Google offers when you get a Gmail account. You don't just get a great internet, you know, uh, email account. Of course, it's on the internet, Bill. You don't just get a great email account. You get a whole bunch of other free services with your Google account. So if you haven't checked them out, the What's New Wednesday series is covering that right now and will be for the next couple of weeks. So you can stop by the blog, BillSkolodowski.com, or look us up here on social media, whatever site you happen to be on. All right. So today, though, it being iPhone Friday, let's jump over to the phone. Let me get rid of this and head over to the phone. There we go. And I thought I might talk a little bit about contacts today. Um, I've been teaching this a lot in my classes in Southwest Florida, adult education classes, and I have a lot of folks who are not only using their iPhone for their own, you know, personal life organization kind of thing, but they're using it in their jobs and their business. And for a lot of folks that have their own small business or home-based business, having a good contact list is, is like gold. It really is. And it helps you in a lot more ways of just, okay, here's a name and a phone number. So let's dig into that, shall we? All right. So on the phone, by the way, if you don't know where your contacts are, remember there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can simply put your finger somewhere on the phone that's not an app and pull straight down so that you get the search section here. And you can just type in contacts up at the top and start looking. I just happen to have mine up there in the upper left corner. But for me, of course, the, always th the easiest thing is just, hey, Siri, open contacts. There you go. How easy is that, right? So let's talk about what you can do with contacts, not just a name and a phone number, like we said. So for starters, you should be the first contact at the top of the list up there. You know, I've got my picture. Oop, I have my picture and my name, and it even says on the bottom, it says my card. And uh, tomorrow, or excuse me, on the next iPhone Friday, not tomorrow, but on the next iPhone Friday, we'll talk about how to make sure you have your card listed there at the top. I have a couple of other things I want to talk about today. So if you go into any contact, you can add a ton of different information, right? You can add in not only phone numbers, phone numbers are easy, but you can add in things like email addresses and websites and a home address and a work address and all kinds of other notes and things like that as well. Now on your card, you'll notice like on mine, it has the medical ID on the bottom as well. And that's another video for another day. But one of the things I did want to talk about was the, that list of blue buttons across the top of any contact card on an iPhone, right? Assuming that you have filled out all the good information on your contact card, you're going to get a lot of options in how you can connect with people and stay in touch with people and, and even do business with people using just the contact information that's in there. For example, on mine, because I have put all the phone numbers, all the email addresses, all the websites, all of everything, right? The first three buttons there are message, call, and video. Now, for message, obviously, that, well, maybe not so obviously, that's a text message, right? If I want to send a text message to somebody, all I have to do is find their contact, tap on text message, and then it's going to ask, all right, for this guy, for this Bill guy, we just happen to have a couple of different phone numbers and email addresses and things like that. So I can choose which one I want to send the message to. If you only have one phone number or email address, you may not get that. It might just go right to a text message. But for some people, like if they have an iPhone and you have an iPhone, you can use uh, the you know uh, FaceTime messaging, the FaceTime video, and all of that as well, which is what the video button is for there in the middle. Call, of course, pretty obvious. Call. Now, again, if you're calling somebody with several different phone numbers, you're going to get that screen there with which offers you options of which phone number to call. 
And if somebody has like a home, a work, a, a fax, an office, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, you may have multiple phone numbers there and you can always choose the different phone numbers that you want to do. Mail is email. So if I have an, uh, an email address set up for this contact and I tap on mail, okay, it's going to automatically open up the email app on your phone and you can just start typing away and there you go. Let's cancel out of that. Go back to our contact list. Come back. All right, back to contacts. There's Bill. And then the last piece of it on the uh, far right there is pay, as in money. As in, if you have Apple Pay Cash set up on your phone, you can use this to send small amounts of money, well, maybe large amounts of money, back and forth over the internet to somebody else just by using the pay system. And if you bring that up, you can, you, you can choose again to send it via their phone number or their uh, email address or whatever you choose. And when you do, right, it's going to create a text message and then it's going to show you that, what you see there, Apple Pay icon or app at the bottom. Now, because I'm sending it to myself, of course, it won't let me send it to myself. But typically, you would have a space there where you could go in and choose a dollar amount and it would send that dollar amount to the other person immediately and without any transaction fees. Without any transaction fees. Pretty interesting, right? So, you know, you split the tab for lunch or whatever, I need to give you five bucks or whatever, I can do it right there. Now, this works with the Apple Pay Cash system, more on that later on, but just know that it's there and it's available for you. So, once you have all that contact stuff, you're you could do a lot with it. Now, if you also have addresses set up in there for either home or work or both, also super helpful for yourself and other people as well when you're trying to find people. Um, I have my clients for my computer work set up in there uh, in Southwest Florida so that when I need to get to somebody, I can just find their contact information, tap, just literally tap on the map, and it will open up the Maps app and show me how to get there, right? So then you can just tap on directions and off I go, right? It shows me. So that's another super useful thing to have complete contact information for. Addresses, phone numbers, email, all of that stuff. So I guess the bottom line to all of this today is just that. Contacts are powerful and the more you can put into your contact list in terms of name and phone number and email address and all of that, the better off you're going to be and the easier it's going to be to use your iPhone to stay in touch with people and to share information with people and to find people and to navigate to them all the time. Okay, <laughs> I know that was kind of a lot there, right? So anyway, that's going to do it for this video for this iPhone Friday. If you have questions or comments or if there's something else you'd like to, uh, you know, find out more about, feel free to get in touch. If you're watching on the blog or on the uh, social media, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, feel free to leave a comment. I check and read them all and we can use ideas for future videos, of course, to uh, help explain more for you. In the meantime, let's get back to the other screen here. If you would like, we have prepared a, a nice little giveaway, which is uh, more than a dozen tips and tricks on how to use Siri to better navigate your iPhone, get more usefulness out of it, and generally help you with all kinds of things. And a little bit of fun too. To get more on that, or to get your free downloadable Siri tip sheet, just navigate over to the blog, billsklodowski.com slash Siri, and uh, we will be glad to send it on over to you. It's going to do it for today. Once again, Bill Sklodowski with you. Thanks for joining me. We, make, uh, we provide rather tips, tricks, and resources to make your digital and high-tech life easier. See you next Friday for another edition of iPhone Friday.